In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fade music in LumaFusion. Hey there, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing if you're into LumaFusion or video editing, as we have a ton of tutorials all about that. Now, if you're new to LumaFusion, it can be a little bit difficult to get your head around. And one of the things I know you'll wanna do is you'll wanna fade your audio, maybe below some voiceover or just at the beginning and end of your video. So let's jump into LumaFusion and I'll show you how that's done. Oh, I just wanna cut in here before the tutorial. We've been getting a lot of comments about this. What is this color-coded keyboard on my iPad Magic Keyboard case? Well, this is the LumaFusion keyboard cover from Editor's Keys for LumaFusion. It helps you edit a lot faster in LumaFusion, and I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check out that. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Okay, so we have jumped straight into LumaFusion, and I'm going to show you a few ways that you can duck down audio directly within LumaFusion, because there's a few easy ways of doing it, there's a slightly harder way, and then there's also an automatic way if you're using VoiceOver. So one way you can do it is actually by adding a cross dissolve. So let me just play you this little section here. You'll see I've got a few shots of some microphone tests we did, and you'll hear the audio just plays straight away. It's just very sudden. Now, you might want to uh, fade this music in. So the very easy way of doing it is tapping up here in the left, and then we can go to Transitions, and then get your Cross Dissolve, and just drag this onto the audio. You can also drag it on to the end of the audio as well. You can see here, if we play the end, it just goes to black and then just ends very suddenly. Let's play that through. Right, it's very sudden. You wouldn't want to upload your YouTube video like that. So we're gonna add a cross dissolve on the end here. And the beauty of this, you can play it back, you can see it already works. It already fades up that music nicely. But what you can do is you can actually click the cross dissolve and you can drag it out if you want a steadier fade. And I'm gonna do that at the end here. So let's just click that one, drag that out. So it will actually fade as we kind of go, go to the black and then it will just fade out the music. So let's play that start through and you'll see it sounds much nicer than before. Cool, so that sounds good. And now the ending. There we go. So that's the easy way how you can fade uh, within LumaFusion. Now I'm going to show you the slightly more difficult way, but more of the advanced way using keyframes. So I'm just going to delete these uh, cross dissolves off here. And let's just say um, you want to um, just fade down for some reason when this second clip plays. What you can do is double tap into your audio track. And then what we're going to do is add a keyframe and you can do that by tapping here. And that will add your first keyframe. And then if we go along the clip, you can see maybe we want it to come up just as uh, maybe about here, let's say. We're gonna add another keyframe there by tapping a plus. And you can see we've got two keyframes uh, in the little bar below. And what you can do is you can control these keyframes by doing this. So let's say we wanna add a third keyframe in, just so we can lower that, th that middle one down. Let's click a plus there. And if we go through to this middle keyframe, we now have full control over that. So you can see how that dips in and out. It goes up and down. And that up and down is essentially your audio's volume. So if I dip that all the way there and we play that back, you'll hear that the audio will suddenly go down and suddenly go back up. So let's play that through. So what you can do is you can use this all the way through your audio. Maybe you've got some voiceover or some parts of your audio where you want sound effects to come through. You can just go through, add these keyframes in, and at you know, certain points of your video, let's just say we want to come down here, you can add a keyframe and then just control your volume like so. And then let's say a little bit further on, you want this to go back up, add another keyframe here, and then drag this one up here. And you'll see that for the rest of your timeline, the, the whole audio will be brought up. So this isn't, of course, a perfect way of doing it, how I've done it, but this is just to show you how the keyframes work. So now if we play this through, you can see this audio will dip up and down as we play. There we go, 
You can actually see the volume of light going up and down there. So that's one way of doing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the keyframes here because there is a third way and this is the way that I get audio to duck underneath an audio track if I'm doing voiceover over a track. So here you can see I've recorded some just some quick demo voiceover and if we play this through what you'll hear is that the audio levels are way too loud. So let's play this back here. This is some demo voiceover. In this video we're looking at the Rode microphone. So you can see there, even though it sounds not terrible, the music is far too loud on this track. And we want the music to fade down as my voice comes in, and then we want it to fade uh, back up once my voiceover has finished. Now you can add keyframes to do this, but there is an easier way. Now how you can do it is you can use LumaFusion's automatic ducking features. So all we need to do is make this voiceover track the master track because this is the one that's going to be in control. So simply double tap this track and then go to configuration. And then on the right hand side here, just change this to master. And that's pretty much all you need to do uh, because what we're going to do is just make sure this one is set to automatic. So double click that. We're going to go to configuration and you can see that ducking is set to auto. Now ducking is exactly what it sounds like. Imagine you throw a ball at someone and they duck. That's what happens, right? This is what happens to music when you enable ducking. The audio track gets out of the way of the master track. So now if we play this through, you should see the background music dips down from my voiceover. It will come back up through this section here where we've left a gap and then back down for this final section. So let's play this through. This is some demo voiceover. In this video, we're looking at the Rode microphone and the Saren VMQ1. This is an audio test. So there you go, that's three easy ways how you can control, duck and fade your audio in LumaFusion. So there we go, I hope that's helped. It's just a quick tutorial today. Let me know in the comments section below, is there anything else you wanna learn about LumaFusion? As I promised, we do actually look at all of these comments and it's actually where we get some of the ideas for our videos. So that would be a great help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.